Are you ready to see this guy for the very first time ever? It was cyber sex. I'm engaged. I told him I loved him. They could be together because this is a match made in heaven. Can you imagine falling head over heels for someone you've never even met? Sounds impossible, right? Well, the people on today's show are here because they have done exactly that. They've been fanning the flames of romance on the phone and on the internet, and they are here to finally meet face to face for the very first time. There's anticipation and love in the air, so stick around because you're not gonna wanna miss this one. They all say it sounds crazy, but they have actually fallen in love for someone they have never met. And today, they'll be meeting their mystery man or woman in person for the very first time. To help find out if our star-crossed couples have a future together, we've brought in world-famous astrologer, the one and only Jojo Savard. Come on out, Jojo! Thank you for coming out today and helping us out. It's lovely to see you again. <laughs> Jojo, is it possible to fall in love with someone you've never really met? Absolutely, everything in love starts with the soul and the heart and many, many relationships actually in the days that we meet because of communication do start through a connection through the soul or the heart to the phone or internet or something like that. Okay. It's a vibration. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's meet our first guest then. Hi, I just have a question for Jojo. Do you see anything happening for these two in the future? Jojo, that question was for you. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> I like it. Uh, I feel very, very, very good vibes. Actually, if you really look very closely, they do look alike a little bit. There's a similarity of energy, of the vibration, the intensity. Even it's beautiful. Like, can you see your eyes a little bit more closely? Not that we don't <laughs> love your hat. Yeah, just the little <laughs> eyes. Okay, there there's a similarity go. of the eyes. And I'll give you, I've, like, I had the fortunate uh, privilege to have your chart. And I know she's a Cancer, he's an Aries, and I know she has a Venus in Gemini, and the title I gave her, she's a mermaid. She's a mermaid, but she's also a tiger in Chinese horoscope. Did you see the way she was scratching his thighs when she grabbed the first time? <laughs> this is what you call. <laughs> Do it again. Do it again, you did it. You see how people do the first time to do the real thing? She just went like this. It made your mind. Okay. She's a tiger. She's a cancer. She's a cancer, which means she's a little, uh, a mermaid of sentiment and love. But because of the tiger, when she wants something, she gets it usually. And she has the patience. Is it true or not? Okay. And here what I decided is a Tarzan of passion. You what? see? Yeah, 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 yeah. But you got to get him started, folks. Uh, you would think the Aries, who is the pioneer, should take the first lead. But because of the tiger and her heart vibration so strong, she's the one that has inspiration. So I would definitely, if she's the leader and she makes him want her, which I think it's already happening, things could happen. But this relationship, in my opinion, because of her Venus and Gemini, she's an adventurous, crazy person but is looking for comfort and loyalty at the same time and him is looking for comfort and loyalty at the same time but he still has that adventurous craziness so it's like a reverse situation so i think they are more for now made for a true incredible friendship and if in three or four years okay the relationship that you could get to spend more time to each other you do have a possibility to create a real relationship but both of you i think need a little more uh, she's more ready He's a little bit less ready, but if she would like, if you want, you could get him. It's all up to you. Okay? Thank you. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I was just wondering, now that you guys have met each other, if you guys are going to pursue a relationship. What do you think? <laughs> I guess we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> what do you think, Jojo? Well, this is an <laughs> interesting question. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, let me see. She is her a genie. She's a little monkey, and she's an Aries, and he's also an Aries, but she's a little genie full of surprise. You never know with her what happens even for herself. Is that true? Yes. Him is a magic dragon. You know the song, The Magic Dragon? That's what he is. So with him, what you see is what you get. That's it. But I'll tell you a little secret. You're a Venus in Pisces. Your words are, take all of me. And he goes, well, if you want it, no problem with me. You could have it. Something like that. <laughs> so in that relationship, she's, if she takes the lead and if she sort of like um, sway him because the combination of monkey and dragon is very, very healthy for both of you. So it's up to you to work it out for a little while because you see also he's marginal. He's a free spirit. He has a mind of his own. He's daring, crazy, adventurous, and it's very hard for him to attach to himself. But yet, although you're very mellow and you have a, a Venus and Pisces, means that I want to love until I die because you're born with love. You see, he's more free spirit. You're more, you want to love deeply. So there's, although you're both fire signs, there seems to be a little adjustment. The heart is not exactly the same place. But I perceive really, really a long, beautiful, uh, sentimental fr friendship that could eventually maybe have a little touch of passion, but more on the sentimental heart. Because you know where you meet? You reach each other in the mind. This is where everything happens. And if you keep it in the mind, it could eventually drop to the heart. But again, because of your situation of the boat Aries, the moon in Aquarius, you have a lot in common. My feeling is more a sentimental friendship that could grow into, you could teach each other great stuff. Okay, and I wish you good luck. Oh, Magic Dragon <laughs> and the beautiful genie. Okay. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. I just have a comment for Jojo. I think you're really great. And how long have you had this talent for? I was born with this, but I worked at it a lot. So I guess uh, ad lib well prepared is good. I want to tell this on good, beautiful magic dragon, if you want to conquer him, I'm going to tell you a little secret. First of all, try to touch his head. Second though, get a lot of rhythm music. This guy loves music and rhythm and beat and everything like that. Is it true? And if, yeah, so if you get in with the music, I guess he'll do a little dance with you. So go for it. <laughs> yes, sir. So is the dragon going to take out the monkey for dinner? <laughs> so now, Jojo, what do you think? I mean, is, is there any kind of friendship future, or is there a future for Tammy with somebody else? What do you see in the stars? Well, something else. She has the heart of Elizabeth Taylor when she loves. As a matter of fact, I would say very secretly in front of everybody that she's already in love. Pretty much. She, you love him a little bit already. In the vibration, in the soul, wouldn't you think that if it would be possible, you would like the relationship to grow? That it's now? possible, but yeah. it's not possible. Okay, but she's very <laughs> extreme. She's a Taurus, so she knows what she wants. She's also a cat. Very sexy, passionate, incredible loving lady. <laughs> Unbelievable. She should be an actress and a showgirl. I'm telling you, she's got it. Him, you know what he is? He's a Valentino. He's a butterfly of love. He's very hard to catch, but I believe this little lady did catch him because when he falls in love for real, which I think he is right now, I think the marriage will go through and I think they will be very happy. As for you, my beautiful princess of love, of unconditional love, that's what you are, you should probably, you're going to meet somebody else. That's my, I think you could keep in touch as a good friend, but I think eventually you will not be friends. But I think by lesser than you think, my psychic feeling, I would say within two years, you're going to be involved and in love like you cannot believe. Because in your chart, you already have a Valentino of your own because you have so much to give. You're such a special person and you have a heart that's gigantic like the universe. And you need somebody that's going to be able to really, really love you in the same quality. He's terrific. You could have a lot of things. And actually, I'll tell you something funny. If she had the chance to spend more time with him, he would have a little problem for a little while. But because his heart is taken, it's okay. But I think you're going to be in love with somebody else and you will also be married within two years. Okay? Now... bringing couples together who've met on the internet or over the phone but have never met in person. Helping us out is world famous astrologer Jojo Savard. <laughs> Are they Tell crazy, my Jojo? I think so, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not crazy in love, I mean, what's the point? As a matter of fact, I'm very, very happy because 
I got all kind of vibrations coming from this couple. You see, he, they're both horse in Chinese horoscope. That's already extraordinary. It means frank and loyal and very open-hearted. There's no games, okay? Although games sometimes it's fun, but in their case it's not. He's a, uh, she's a Virgo and he's a Cancer. And now I could see, you know the song, I could, cl I could see you clearly now? Well, I think the fact he has met her is gonna make his heart go boom, boom in such a way that I could almost feel the tam-tam of the jungle of passion <laughs> growing within two weeks, okay? <laughs> She's a princess. She really is a princess of tenderness. Yes, I do think. <laughs> princess of tenderness, and he's a prince charming. My guess, I'm telling you something, you know that love has no space, has no time. It's got to be crazy and wild. It's got to be from the heart. This is, in my opinion, she's water. Uh, no, she is the earth. He is the water. Together, they could make magic pottery of a long-lasting relationship. <laughs> Venus and Scorpio, it means it's all or nothing. I mean, there's no limit to her love. And I'll tell you something, the way she feels about him, if he doesn't do what it takes to create the bridge that they could be together, because this is a match made in heaven, it could be a marriage eventually within a year. Wow. wow. <laughs> you have to let us know, and you guys. Well, Jojo, what do you think? What about our, our, our couple here? Actually, it's, it's a good combination. They're both goats. They're both mountain climbers. <laughs> goatsy, goatsy. Yeah. So, and they, they both have the heart at the right place. I love that. She has a lot of faith her. She's a very spiritual kind of being, and she believes in the impossible and the miracles, and he believes in magic, but she's more practical, grounded. Well, he is more fantasy, dreamy. Him, it, it's very funny because her, She's more mellow, and I would say she's like a gentle flower of sensuality that you have to pick gently. Him is a wild beast superstar. <laughs> this guy, if you know him in person, is rock and roll here I come. It's like unbelievable. Isn't it true? You, don't you have a thing for show business or something? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, should do, you should do comedy or something. And it was coming back to the relationship, they're very, very different, but very, very similar in heart and soul. And one of the things that I like about them, there's a mind complementary. He has a Mercury in Taurus, she has a Mercury in Scorpio, and she knows how to dig him and to go and get the things and secrets that normally he would say. She has the will and the know-how to sort of do that. Don't you think so? If you want to, you get it, right? Yeah. Don't you <laughs> tell her a lot of secrets you wouldn't tell certain people? Yeah. <laughs> See show business. So I would say this is a very, my potential, I would be very surprised if those two do not remain great friends forever. It could grow to something eventually, but not right away. Thank you, but Jojo. We'll be right back with more Jojo and our other couples. Don't go away. All from today. Good luck to all of you. And I especially want to thank Jojo Savard for helping us out again today. Just a quick reminder, if you are getting ready to meet someone in person that you've only ever spoken to on the internet or the phone chat lines, please be cautious, just like you would when you're meeting anyone for the first time. Thanks for watching. See you next time.